Hi, I'm Gordon Tallis, and in the next half an hour I'm going to introduce you to some real strong men with real life experiences of this horrific issue of domestic violence. These stories are from our community and these men are asking you to make a change. Not only did he bash her, but um, he continued on to kick her while she was on the ground. Then he proceeded uh, and climbed on top of a car and jumped off the top of a car onto her head. You know, if one person would have put their hand up and picked Mum's side, it would have made a difference, I believe, but there was no one there for her. Do you believe that domestic violence played a part in your mother's death? 100% yes. I have absolutely no doubt that my mother would still be alive today had she not suffered nearly 30 years of abuse at the hands of my father. Fortunately, mate, I've come across a, a number of females that have been a part of it. Um, and, um, and I think it's extremely disappointing to see the effects. Um, you know, a girlfriend of mine, you know, just the effects that it has on, on them, not just then, but years down the track. You know, so I think, you know, the people that are, that are doing this to females, they have to understand that, you know, it's not just there, it's, you know, two, three, four, ten years down the track that it still affects them. And it's devastating to see what it does to their confidence and their self-esteem and, and how they carry themselves in the community. Men have got to pick a side. Men are the problem. You know, 90 per cent of domestic violence is perpetrated by a man, so it's men who have got to fix it. 